We're getting down to the wire in the high school football season. Yeah, and Cole, that means a playoff picture getting clearer. It is. It's starting to clear up. We're getting a better idea, but there's still one more week to go. We'll see how it all plays out on Friday. It also means we're getting down to the wire in our News 4 Jack Super 10 high school football poll. Justin Barney has been grinding away at it this week. Justin, if a team is in our poll, they have to like their chances at the playoffs. Thanks, Cole. You know, Tuesday night, and that means we turn our attention to high schools and unveil our Super 10 football power rankings. And once that season gets moving along, it just flies by. And if you can believe it, this is our final Super 10 of the regular season. As Cole mentioned, you know, if you're in our Super 10 poll, you've got a pretty good shot that you are playoff bound. But in this case, we've got two teams in our Super 10 who are not quite playoff bound yet. We're going to talk about those guys right off the bat. And one of those teams comes in at number 10, Oakleaf, a great regular season. The Knights are six and three. You know, they stumbled in a couple district games. The big win last week against Nice, 49 to 14. This week, they have a chance to go seven and three by, and they're playing at one and eight Clay. You know, Oakleaf is a team I thought, to begin with this season, that they would win that district one 8 a state championship. That is not the case. They struggle with injuries. One team that is in the playoffs, that is University Christian. Fantastic season for University Christian. Started out by beating Bowles. They have since won seven games in a row and have a chance to finish 9-1 and head to the playoffs on a strong note. Moving in number eight, as we mentioned top of this, uh, this broadcast, two teams were not yet qualified for the state playoffs. Oakleaf at number 10 was one of them. Mandarin is our second team that is not yet qualified for the playoffs. They were .300s out of the playoff spot entering this week, and uh, it's gonna, they need to win against Fletcher. Another team that has had a very good year, that's the Lee Generals. Last week, they went on the road and beat Gainesville 27 to 12 to lock up their district championship and a top four seed in the 1-6A region. The Lee Generals are playoff bound. Number six, Ponte Vedra. Again, you know, Ponte Vedra is a team that lost their coach in the off season. Their new coaching staff came in late in the process. They have not missed a beat. They are basically one fluke play from being unbeaten in this regular season. They beat St. Augustine last week, 38-35. They are playoff bound. Making the turn into our top five bowls, they won last week against John Carroll Catholic, 45-20. They finished this season on the road, Daytona Beach, Mainland, five and three. Mainland, very good challenge for bowls. I think this is bowls, probably the most difficult game of the season for the Bulldogs and coach Matt Toblin. You know, a team that we've talked about, they were preseason number one, Trinity Christian. You know, they've had a crazy schedule. Their schedule was just relentless. A challenging season for the Conquerors. So when you see this five and five mark, you got to kind of grade that on a curve. Trinity Christian has been fantastic. They beat uh, Reigns last week, 17-14 in overtime. Lee before that. So they have done very well against local teams. Our top three, unchanged again. Fleming Island, big win last week. They are going for an unbeaten regular season. Top two teams, unchanged again. Columbia, a hold steady at number two. They end a two-game losing streak with a win over Middleburg last week. Had a little bit of a hope of a district championship, but needed Lee uh, to lose that last week's game. Coach Brian Allen and company, I think, are going to probably get a number five seed in that region 1-5A. And holding strong Bartram Trail, 20th season uh, that they've been around. Bartram Trail has never had a season like this. They are 9-0, going for that 10-0 season. They play this week against Reigns, a good chance to get it right there. But the Bears are going to probably start that uh, 1-8A region pass in the playoffs with a one or two seed. Uh, in the playoffs next Friday night. So a great season for Coach Darrell Sutherland and the Bartram Trail Bears. We'll see what they can do once they get into that playoffs. Took apart Sandalwood last week, 49-21. So just a great season for the Bartram Trail Bears in St. Johns County. And that's going to take care of our Super 10s in the regular season. We'll still come to you next Tuesday night when we're talking about state playoffs. All right, thank you, Justin. We'll be following all of those teams and every school heading to the postseason. And you can find the News 4 Jack Super 10 on News4Jacks.com.